I came to RMG uh, because I really valued the values that they have. Uh, we shared something in common in that we believe in a very client-focused and uh, service-oriented business as well as just having a wide variety of projects. Something that is uh, exciting to me is being able to apply all of my skills and not just some of my skills. At RMG, we specialize in not specializing. And what that means is that we use all of our resources in our engineering toolbox to apply to every project. And we accept a wide variety of projects so that we can apply every possible solution to meet, best meet the client's needs. The best way in my experience to overcome design challenges and tilt up is to really get involved early in the project with coordination with all the trades and the consultants side. So that starts with immediately going through all the architectural drawings, all the MEP drawings, and looking for potential issues that could arise during construction. Now, there's a way to create a complete set that can get you to permit, but then you're essentially potentially postponing another issue that could come up in construction and delay the project. Uh, one example that I commonly see is like light fixtures on the office space area that are exterior lights. Uh, engineers may glaze over details like this and it may get missed on the panel elevations. And something as simple as a note of pointing to a general area saying coordinate with architectural and electrical drawings for lighting. Um, could result in a contractor drilling a hole and cutting through rebar and that would require a fix and that could delay the project. Especially if that particular rebar was in a high demand uh, for structural forces like it was right located right underneath a girder or some other um, unique issue. And the best way, of course, is just from the beginning, start the coordination. Engineers will tend to focus on um, uh, only what they traditionally are asked to do and provide a roof framing plan, provide details and call the project done. Coordination would be one of those things that is kind of, well, a good, a good engineer would do spend a lot of time focusing on this, but a uh, engineer that um, is just striving to pro produce the bare minimum um, may neglect that. Off that service. The biggest thing that my personal experience that um, has really benefited me most, and this is paramount to delivering a product that is in tune with the client's best interest, is utilizing not only my own experience, but the experiences of others, and even while observing other projects, seeing other issues that I know can look, I can just look out for in the future. Um, I can quickly identify, oh, I, it's something will just trigger me. Like, I haven't personally experienced that for any of my projects, but I could see how this could be a pitfall in the future and then just kind of make a note of it. The experience builds upon experience, and there's, there's no way to just simply neglect that and walk away from that concept with that, uh, without uh, flatlining yourself or plateauing your, your ability to grow as an engineer and provide the best service for your client. My ultimate goal, which is furthering the industry and growing the knowledge, wealth, and base, and through the experience of myself and others, and being able to apply all lessons learned to every single project to absolutely make sure that we can, at the best possible way, produce the best possible product. The real benefit we have here at RMG that I really value highly uh, in coming from an experience of working in another firm that's only specialized in structural and coming to it versus coming to RMG, which has multiple service lines, is that we can streamline the approach of delivery and coordination. So when I need to convey um, a need or like if I'm asking a question or just wanting to overall coordinate any part of the project, I can go straight, you know, just across the hall or anywhere and just start coordinating with that particular service line. To go above and beyond really just has to do with having um, a service, a service oriented uh, character and desire to deliver the best possible product 
and just really keep that as the, uh, the, the focus on every aspect of every part of the project they're working on. Um, it, it just, when it comes to performing the calculations, to really just make sure that everything is efficiently put together, the detailing, think about the constructability, think about not just, hey, we're putting together something that works, but putting together that's something that's easy to construct, that's gonna have a uh, high performance associated with it and for any kinds of loads, whether it be lateral loads or vertical loads that are being applied to the structure, that ultimately at the end of the day, we're gonna get a uh, smooth, streamlined schedule of construction and a good high performance building for our client. What sets RMG apart, I would say, is our just our vast experience that we have in all of our engineers and our staff. Um, we've, we've worked in these projects for decades and we know and have learned about the certain problems that can arise. We know the regions really well. We do the best we can to make sure that we're focusing on end product and having it be just the best possible solution that's in the best interest of our client. It's important for, for us uh, as RMG to design beyond industry standards uh, and to really consider the code as everything is code minimum. This is a starting point. To go above and beyond what the industry and what the code may have as a minimum is to consider really, what, again, what's in the best interest of the client. Some, some situations, code minimum may not be enough as far as it will give you something that will hold up, but it may not have the, per, uh, the overall desired uh, performance that the owner's looking for. So to really understand exactly what's in the owner's best interest would be to have the conversation with the owners. What differentiates my approach from other drawings I've seen from other design firms um, all around, uh, not only Colorado, but even the nation, primarily is uh, focused in the details and the coordination with other trades, uh, other consultants, and focusing on how to avoid potential misinstallations. I've gone out and I've done forensic uh, pro uh, investigations for structural uh, failures and other issues, and I've examined the drawings from these these, uh, these projects and I've found quickly what was caused, what caused this particular issue. In one case it was the rebar was not dimensioned. It was shown graphically in the correct spot but it wasn't actually dimensioned to be located in that spot and so that can lead to a problem and if it's if in the field they it's perceived that all they need to do is put that bar in and not actually located in a particular spot that could be uh, a real problem when it comes to making sure that the design is going to work. So going into a project, one thing that we as RMG really like to focus on is making sure that we understand the desires, the needs, and, and uh, what, what ultimate goal and product that our client is desiring, uh, wanting from us. And part of that process involves us asking questions, trying to understand and get a better picture of what, how we can really best serve their needs. Uh, for example, uh, if, if their desire is to have a, a particular look on uh, heavy timber truss hardware, we would ask questions like, what kind of uh, bolt heads would you like to see? Square, hex head? Um, these may be associated with a particular style or a time period that they're trying to or like a goal that they're trying to achieve and we want to make sure that we can relay all that information onto the drawings to match uh, their goal and the product that they ultimately want to get. And our team is so experienced that we know the questions to ask. I treat every project as if it's my own project and I treat every budget as if I'm writing the check. And so it's a focus of mine to make sure that everything, every decision I make, every, every product that I produce is in the client's best interest.